Hey everybody, it's me, Matt. Um, I'm wearing an ugly sweater in celebration of the holidays, so happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, if that is something you do. Today I want to refactor something. We're going to utilize an interface instead of this whole mess right here. In this loop that we made for handling our punch action, we're casting to a blueprint every single time inside of this loop. I don't like that, so we're going to redo this in C++ with an interface. Let's go. Okay, so here we are in our handle punch. This is our function, right? Let's take a look in here. What we're doing is we have our attack sphere, we're getting overlapping actors, we're checking to make sure that we have some actors before proceeding. If not, we're going to send this no-hit signal so that we can end our gameplay ability. That's important. If we, um, if we do, we're going into this for loop, and we're checking if we can cast to our enemy class. Now this is um, kind of nasty, casting to a blueprint. I might be wrong, but this is a, an expensive thing to do, and I would rather cast to an interface in C++. Now somebody please comment if that isn't more performative, but I think it is. And then we're applying our punch force here. This is from our own blueprint function library. So this right here is what I think should be in an interface call. So this should be implemented by our character, our base character class in C++, and then we call it via an interface. Okay, so we're gonna redo all of this in C++. So let's go ahead and make our interface first. So new C++ class, scroll all the way to the bottom, get this Unreal interface, and we're gonna call this Hopper Character Interface. We're gonna put it in Public Core Interfaces. Yeah, create the class. Okay, so now we've got our interface here. We don't need that line. This is where we're going to create our interface, right? So what we want to do is take this apply punch force to character. So we're just going to grab that guy and we're going to stick it here. But we don't want this uh, target anymore because we don't need it, right? Because our character itself is going to call this. So let me just clean that up. Perfect. Okay. Now, also, we want to make it virtual and pure virtual. We're going to get rid of this static, and now it should be happy. So that's all we need to do there. Let's go ahead and call this character functions abstracted through interface calls. I don't know, something like that. All right, so we're done with the interface. That's it. Go over to the base character, scroll all the way up. And we're going to implement next to our ability system interface public i hopper character interface okay make sure that that got included up at the top there and we can continue all right so let's scroll down and find our combat area and this is where we're going to put in our handle punch so we're going to make it a blueprint native event and it's blueprint callable just in case we ever want to do this in blueprints again. So a native event for blueprints means that uh, we can have C++ code and we can also implement it via blueprints. And if we implement it blueprints, it won't call the C++ code. So I'm doing blueprint of native event because I'm going to have C++ code. So we're going to call this handle punch. And we're going to create the definition. All right, next up, we actually need to implement our interface call. So this is a U function blueprint callable, and this is going to be our virtual void apply punch force to character override. There it is, all right. So we can also go over here, and why don't we just grab that comment and put it there. We no longer have a target. Clean that up. Attack force is gonna be hiding a, uh, a variable, and we don't want that. Let's move that forward. Okay, perfect. Make the definition, and it should be, I'm gonna move this so that it is beneath our handle 
punch implementation since these go together. Okay, apply punch force to characters easy because we can just grab it from our blueprint function library. Just take that, paste it in here. And instead of that, we don't need that anymore. We're not getting a target, it's just us. So we can get rid of that and get rid of that. And there we go. All right, so that is our apply punch force to character. That's our implementation from our interface. So here, handle punch implementation, this is what we're going to be converting from our C++. So here we go. First, we're gonna need an array of actor pointers called actors array, and we're gonna fill that up with our attack sphere. We're gonna get overlapping actors. We're gonna pass actors array into that. Now, if our actors array dot num is greater than, what do you think we're gonna put here? It's not zero, it's one. Because we're going to find ourselves with our attack sphere. We do not want to call the logic in here if only ourself is found as an overlapping actor. So the else that we're gonna do here, um, well, let's do this first. We need to end the ability. Otherwise, when we punch, we'll never end the ability and we can never punch again. So we're gonna make an F gameplay tag called tag, and this f gameplay tag, this is how you get those tags, by the way, request gameplay tag, and weapon dot no hit is the tag we want. So that's how you get a tag out of the gameplay tag manager. If you make tags in the engine, the gameplay tags, that's how you get them out. So we also need a payload, and that is f gameplay event data, and we're just going to make a blank one with the constructor and the payload the instigator is just us get the instigator and then the payload target data is just blank so we're gonna make ability target data handle all right and now how do we send to the gameplay event to an actor well you get the ability system blueprint library and then you send gameplay event to actor. You pass in the instigator, you pass in the tag, and you pass in the payload. And that's it. That right there is how you send a tag back to an event actor. So we're sending our no hit. That is the same thing we did in blueprints, just in C++. Okay, if we do have more than one actor in there, if there's other actors besides ourselves, we go into that loop, right? So for every actor in our actors array, if the actor is valid and the actor is not us and you kismet system library, does it implement the interface? This actor that we have, does it implement the character interface static class? So that's how we know if an actor has implemented the interface that we created. Now if it has, we need to cast, and this is where I think this cast right here is more performative. And once we cast, we're going to apply the punch force to the character. We're going to get the actor location and pass the attack force. All right, now we need to send another tag. So F gameplay tag again. This time, the gameplay tag that we want to request is weapon.hit. And we're going to make the event data again a payload. F gameplay event data constructor. The payload.instigator is again get instigator. The payload target this time, we need a target, is the actor from the array. The payload target data is going to be, we need ability target data from actor, if you remember the blueprint call. So you ability system blueprint library again, ability target data from actor, and we pass the actor in. Now again, we just send that to the actor. So the blueprint library again, send gameplay event to actor, we get the instigator, we pass the tag, and we pass the payload. I forgot to call this tag right there. Make sure that you put that tag 
now it should be happy. Okay, there is our handle punch. This is when we actually hit something, and this is if we have not hit anything, if if we are the only thing in this array. If our if the array is equal to one, it means we're the only ones in the array, so we don't want to do anything. Let's go ahead and compile and make sure we didn't do anything wrong. All right, we're back in the editor. Let's open our base character class. Go up to our punch. This is now our event, so we're going to actually delete handle punch because we've made it in C++. All right, let's go ahead and hit play. We come in here and punch, punch, punch. Looks like it is working. And if we hit nothing, we can still punch again. So we pass in that no hit. So there you go, that is operating completely from C++, no blueprints at all. And we can actually hit each other now. So we could actually do a little bit of uh, PvP. We don't have the death stuff uh, implemented yet, however, because we're checking for just base character, we can knock around other players. And if we knock around these bad guys, you can see that the networking still works. So there you go. That's how to use C++ entirely with an interface call and using our gameplay ability tags and sending gameplay events to characters and actors um, in the system. So until next time, have a fantastic holiday and uh, do whatever it is you do. Bye.